I'm George Lovren, I'm the Mayor's Beadle, and I've been the Mayor's Beadle now for 21 years. The proclamation of Arsenal Fair now has been going on for at least 800 to 1,000 years, and it's been near enough exactly the same as it was day days. And it was always tradition that you hear years ago that you could hear from the steam gallopers that was there that they used to send off a whistle good, wit, 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 and that would be the start of Barnesville Fair. Now, when that went off, you know then that the glove was out the, out the window and the, the archway were put up there saying welcome, which was there. And we always had our guest speakers, which was in the mayor's parlour. I'm usually in here around about Barnesville Fair morning, around about half past six in the morning. Um, and then it's all the silver which is in here that all comes. It only comes out once a year. Uh, the rest of the year, it's always tucked away in the cabinet there. Usually John Hyman and myself put that out, and then you've got Fred and Lance, which is our mace bearers, they're the ones that pour, do the ale, and we also get the fairing, which is, we use. Put that on the plates in there, which dirties we put on top, and that's then put in on the table, and then when after they made the speech and says bars will fair, the fairing is then is passed around to each and every one of them in the hall there. And then we go downstairs and line up, and again, once we're downstairs, outside, it's then again, when everybody's ready and I've got everybody in order, and then as soon as they're all in order, and we look around and the town clerk nods to me, and then again, I say, oh yay, oh yay, oh yay, all persons are commanded to keep silence while the mayor's proclamation is being read. And then the town clerk reads out the proclamation. He reads it out there, and then we walk down through the high street and down right opposite the Royal Forty School Hotel, they reach it out exactly the same again and we go around to the North Walk and then outside there we read it again and that's that's over. Then we're up in here, this this robe, etc. Years ago when the fair came here to Barnstable and you had the little stage stalls and you had the bingo operated and the lady in the in the glass cage with her the snakes all around her or the spotted lady, etc. But uh, and I've always heard my grandpa say that when they came to Barnsville Fair years and years ago, um, everybody cooed up to go in and see the horse tethered up. He got where his tail should be, his head is, and where his head is, his tail is. He said, and everybody went in and see that. And when they came out, it was all laughing. Nobody said a word, but the only thing it was that they got the horse tied up the wrong way around. So I lived in Barnsville all my life. It's used to a place called Ladywell up at uh, Pilton up there. And... Uh, I used, to, I used to be always, went to school and that, and used to always be here when the fair moved in. And I used to go to the fair every night, near enough. And it used to be, um, when you was a young lad, I think it was different than it was day days, because you had a group of you, when you went to school, etc. and they said, hey, have you been down at the fair yet? They got um, the cowboys down there, and they've got a, a young lady down there, it's got marked up stripped. That's it. But I can always remember going to Barnsville Fair when they was in the Civic Centre down that end and all the cheap jacks down there. There used to be always a character down there with his little brown case and he used to put a, put a five pound note in and a packet of razor blades and everything and he was healed down and he said, there, I'll let you have that one for a pound. And I can guarantee that all those that bought him for a pound, only thing that was inside the inside the paper and right beside the envelope was a might have been a one one razor blade or something that with the five pound note it had disappeared. Yeah, I've got some mares that looks up to me and said, George, no, I don't even go on the children's rides. And you got another mare which come along and he thrives on it and he loves to go up and swing it around and upside down. And I said, right, chain off please, the chain goes back in the box and that's that. Because I don't fancy going up the river at all, going in there trying to find the chain back again. And when Barnsville Fair comes around in September, I'm always thinking, ah, Barnsville Fair is with us. To me, that's a part of Barnsville's heritage. Branham's pottery is gone and there's the same with Chapel and the Pedders. Chapel and the Pedders are door makers and cabinet makers is over there. That's all gone. We've got um, Clark's Shoe Factory, was here in Barnsville, gone. Selkirk's here and gone. So only little bit we're hanging on to at this minute is Barnsville Fair. And to me, that I would love to see the fair going for hundreds of years more. Was, if somebody come to me and said, George, Barnsville Fair is finishing. And I'm sorry, I'm a sad man.